Yeah, yeah. Another new location. How about that? Um, hopefully this fan and something else happening in the other room there won't be too distracting from what we have tonight. Um, yes, that's right. Tonight I have something going on throughout the day, so I can't record videos all day. But I can't right now because I'm off work, so there we go. <laughs> But we have a lot of things to go over today as we talk this week in indoor football. We know that the AL owners, at least the Charlotte Thunder and the North Texas Bulls owners, they have gotten together and said, hey, we're going to do an AL championship game. The North Texas Bulls won the West Division over the San Antonio Gunslingers on Sunday and Charlotte although they were very upset and have essentially said that they want to go to the NAL now how true that is it really just depends right now but based on what a Charlotte Thunder broadcaster said it is probably the case and we know the owners Ted Ginn Jr. and I forgot the other guy's name but they have money they have the money so they can go on ahead and get up and go to the NAL if they want to. Um, speaking of the NAL, right now we're just waiting for the Jacksonville Sharks to start up because they haven't played at all yet and we're wondering how they can stack up to Albany because right now Albany's been putting on work, putting it putting it through, putting it, making it look good out there. Just killing folks out there. So I wonder how that's going to go this week. Um, big big news that has been breaking all day long in the IFL Louisville 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 the extreme their game against Green Bay was canceled postponed however you want to say it it's not happening this week and it may not happen at all because Louisville may be folding, which is something I already said was going to happen. I said this months ago. There was no way this team was going to last in the IFL with what they have at their disposal. And the KFC Yum Center was just not a great fit for them. They had a different arena. I think it was the Expo Hall or something like that, you know, down in Louisville. But that obviously didn't work out. And this doesn't work out either because apparently Kentucky is opening back up just like a lot of states are opening back up I know Texas has opened back up to 100% so things are kind of weird out here so I don't know what's going on with that you know what about West Michigan because I know I know there's some rumblings coming around about the Iron Men what are they going to do um, don't know yet we don't know what they're going to do because they are also fed up with the AAL and their antics along with the Pennsylvania Union that could be a potential NAL type thing maybe who knows but I, I honestly don't think that's going to happen you know but you know it is what it is I'm just speculating on things at this point um, CIF again I have nothing really to say there as long as Selena Selena however you say their name as long as the Liberty continue to coast, I think things will be fine there. I think the playoffs are starting at the end of the month, so that's going to be interesting to see there. Because, I mean, it's been, you know, it's been a weird season all around, but the CIF has gotten it done, whereas the NAL and IFL took a little bit too long to get started. Now, you know, my interest is kind of, you know, just kind of, uh. It's, the, it's still there, don't worry, my interest is still very, very high, but I mean, we could, we could have had the other two leaks maybe start a little earlier, you never know, I mean, this was COVID, so you never know what could have happened, um, but yeah, yeah, Louisville's game that, get, that got postponed, don't know what's going to happen there, I really don't know what's going to happen there at all. There is a whole lot of things going on with that story, and if Louisville folds, I'm not going to be surprised at all if Louisville gets taken over by the IFL until somebody can buy the team. Uh, again, I don't know. Or if Louisville, you know, just, you know, they 
I, I don't know what Louisville is going to do because I, I've had issues with the team coming from the AAL to the NAL and then to the IFL. I don't know how you jump through hoops like that to get to where you are. In all honesty, you know, the IFL should have just rolled with 11 teams this year. Hell, maybe even 10. But, nah. We didn't get that at all. But it's okay. It's okay. We still have a season. It's still going on. We still have five IFL games this weekend. We have three NAL games this weekend. We have, you know, some CIF games as well. The AAL regular season is over. And June 26th will be the championship game, which, again... For some reason, doesn't feature West Michigan. But if it, but if something changes, of course, you know I'll talk about it. You know next week. But that's all I've got, and I'll see you guys again. You know, talking about the PLL later on this week. I'll take care. Have a good night.